today this is a very interesting game uh, if you remember yesterday's game which is brilliant great combo this is not uh, such game however it does have a very interesting feature on it which is uh, where I move the king uh, forward and it this reminds me of my olden days where I treat the king as a super pawn worth two points and I just keep pushing the king forward you know because I was a pawn pusher at the time so uh, I was a pawn pusher uh, I treat the king as a pawn I end up pushing the king forward so this is one of those games which reminds me but as a throwback to the past anyway let's begin This is Pelidor's defense, other variation. So that's a unique thing over here. Uh, that one over there, that's a blunder, right? I mean, the, the bishop is not being uh, taken, uh, it's not being guarded or anything. I could have just taken the bishop over there immediately and boom, I would win immediately. Uh, Nope, <laughs> did not happen. Obviously, this is not one of those great games uh, over there. So anyway, I still have advantage uh, in the development, but it could have been much better. So anyway, uh, pre-move, uh, which is a problem. I sometimes do make uh, such things over there. Anyway, uh, the game suddenly becomes equal, equal basically I no longer have the advantages the advantage that I had earlier however with this one I gain some of it back still it's uh, you know only little only little bit over here so it's not basically uh, something that's good anyway next move so so basically just keep trading over here now this is actually a bad thing for me because uh, if uh, the bishop takes the knight I can only do it with <coughs> the pawn over here so I can only capture with the pawn and then it becomes a big hole over there oops not that it becomes a big hole over there that uh, the queen can you know can take advantage of it and rook can take advantage of it over there over there so so this is not a good situation for me over there anyway next move so this is harassing the queen but like I said this this is something that's uh, very good for black over here so I'm not happy with that one push over here and uh, double pawn I hit double pawn because to me double pawn is only what one pawn so it's not something I like to have over there this is a <coughs> really long-term strategy basically over here that's that's a pawn right that's a hanging pawn and I basically just sacrifice that for this thing over here for this thing this thing over here is called picks on the seven picks on the seven basically the double rook here is gonna take all this pawn over here just punch it over there punch it over there there is one problem though because the they still have uh, black still have rooks over there guarding the pawn so we're not going you know I'm not too sure how that plan's going to go but it's an old uh, strategy that basically if you got two two rooks over there on the seventh you know uh, that's a very strong point so anyway next move and secure the pawn so this becomes a so, uh, lock solid position I don't have to worry about this position anymore I still have to worry about this double pawn over here and where the knight's gonna go for example the knight can go here 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 and here and and as you can see all squares are covered by the bishop so yeah that's not a good thing over here anyway next move <coughs> so this 
so black is trying to get some activity uh, go up over there personally though i think uh, black is better off uh, to just doing it this way pushing the pawn over here forward but that's just me uh, an alternative for black would be to go over here and take you know this double pawn out over here anyway next move Yep, this is like putting the king, you know, putting the rook pin to the king and I don't care. And I don't care, like, what was I thinking? Oh, what was I thinking? Oh, I was thinking the, the king is a pawn and, and, I treat it, and I treat the king as a pawn. So, <laughs> push forward. I'm a pawn pusher, so. So, that's check over there. Uh, king move there, but that's okay because it's been covered by this pawn. So check that cover this pawn is covered, this. and that's contesting over there. Yes, I'll take that uh, contest over there and push the king forward. Push the king. Trade uh, rooks. Okay, right, let's take rooks. Pawn forward, king forward. Just push the king. Push the king. <laughs> yeah, some, sometimes I wonder, you know, uh, some, sometimes I wonder what I was thinking when playing this game over here. You know, it's, this is how I usually play my games in the old days. This is how I usually play my games. I, I would push the king. Yep, like that. And... I don't know why the bishop moves there. Uh, that's weak. Uh, if you want to, but the only thing is if you want to basically solidify the position over there. But that's actually really weak. Yeah. Like I said, and the rook is better off attacking this double pawn. So, so attack the bishop and, and the king. Move forward now for there. And this is the combo. This is the beginning of the combo. The king has just moved to g6. What should I do? The answer is obvious. Rook takes bishop. Just like uh, earlier in the beginning, where he has to see where he let the bishop hang, he let the bishop hang here as well. So just take the bishop. Anyway, next move. Check. Black has just moved the rook to c8. What should I do? Obviously, the aim for the rook is to take the pawn, so I want to take another pawn as well. So, this is what I did. Boom. Sure enough, black takes the pawn. Uh, I guess you can tell. Uh, I'm going to take this pawn. Do I get to take it with this king or do I get to take it with this rook? What should I do? Attack it with the king. Yeah. So anyway, the most advanced uh, things possible. So anyway, I can get a safe tempo. Uh, so I can take this pawn over here. Whereas if I take it with the rook, I do not save the time. So I take it with the king. Anyway, next move. Black has just moved the rook to g2. What should I do? The goal of this uh, move rook is basically to protect the pawn because the king cannot basically go here. However, it does mean that I can do this over here tonight. See? Check. Fork the 
king and the rook. Black resign. Game over. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoy watching this game as much as I do. Laughing at the king. <coughs> mm. Laughing at the king pushing so far forward that that is ahead of every that, that is ahead of every other pieces right here like like that the king is the most forward piece of the board so yeah <laughs> anyway thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.